testing, testing. Hey, look at that. Can I get a hello, everyone? This is a new situation here. I um, didn't have a stream on Friday because I was setting up this thing. Uh, Catherine, if you could tell me how the levels are doing right now because this is a new setup. I completely rearranged my room for this. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, don't know how I did it, and frankly, it's gonna be interesting to see how things work out. Okay, so now knowing that, let's let's uh, go come over here. Uh, today we're playing XCOM, the board game, and uh, I did a thing. <laughs> this is what I was doing uh, on Friday. <laughs> I have the ability now to do board games on stream. <laughs> it's a little insane. Um, I, I, I have some very crazy things set up that's, uh, it, well, I mean, let's, here, just, just to give an idea, I have my phone set up over there, and then I have this board game set up here. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, but hopefully this will work out well, um, and also I have the ability to, uh, play, play the app on my, my phone here so that you can actually follow along and play along and, uh, well, at least watch me as I play along here. It mirrors completely. I Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. So, uh, XCOM the board game. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, this came out in 2017. Uh, it was a while ago. But the idea is that you're supposed to play this with four players. Uh, but, uh, surprise, it's COVID time. And um, it's kind of ridiculous to, to get together and just not, it's not going to work out. So, this is so uh, It's not recommended, but uh, because I am a little bit crazy, I like to try these things and see if I can make them work. Uh, and I figured, why not? I have the ability to mirror my devices onto my stream. I mean, come on, let's let's give it a try. So, uh, if you've never played XCOM before, it's uh, it's a game. It is a game from uh, Fantasy Flight. It came out in 2017. And it is uh, based on the video game series, XCOM, as well. Uh, this game is very difficult. Uh, it, there's memes online where there's uh, it shows, like, one of your guys has a gun, and the alien is, like, right here, and the chance to hit is, like, 60%. And it's like, I, I, I'm right here. I, I, like, the gun is against the alien's head. That's how this game works. Like, you think you can take on the aliens, but... You just might not. So, uh, the, the idea behind this is it is a real-time game. So I will be narrating what I'm do doing and kind of going through it. Uh, it's a little bit fast-paced, so hopefully you can follow along. Uh, the idea behind this is that there is a, a grand old mission that you have to do. And the mission has various ideas that uh, the app integrates into it. So if you play the occupation, they're going to try to like take over the, the various continents a lot. If you play Onslaught, they're just going to keep coming and keep coming and never stop. And just, uh, Misdirection, they're going to try to take over the orbit area uh, for reasons, because it scrambles up what the app does. The more aliens in orbit around Earth, the more that they scramble our communications, which means bad things happen. So depending on which uh, option we choose for the for the first game, uh, it will slightly change what happens during during play. So uh, what how, how do we play this? Uh, well, each player, if you were playing with four players, would take on a role. Uh, the roles are commander, chief scientist, uh, central officer, and squad leader. Those four four characters are the ones that uh, we use. Uh, and I just realized that I should probably flip this so that you have uh, transforms. Oops, I want this transform. Uh, rotate 180 degrees. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now you can see what I'm looking at here. <laughs> uh, face up. There we go. So now it's it's face up for you. Um, so each role does something slightly different for uh, to accomplish all of the tasks. The commander is all about tracking the funding. So our funding, uh, we'll start with a certain amount of funding at the beginning of the game, and it's tracked by this. 
Uh, this is just a little currency. So I have to get a certain amount of money in my head and then track how much I'm spending over the course of the round. I, the way that you spend money is via researching our, uh, as a scientist. The scientist has to uh, have a hand of cards, and unfortunately you're not going to be able to see what these cards are, but I will try to uh, narrate what the cards are. But the idea behind these cards, uh, upside down, there we go, uh, is they have a certain victory level right here. That's like two things. So you need to get two victories uh, to research this. So if I put this card here, that means that I need two victories to do that. Uh, I accomplish that by assigning scientists these are these little scientist tokens to the various things. So if I want to, I might want to put approximately the equal amount. But for every scientist I put down, that costs me one money, which is bummer. But I, you're going to start with a lot of money. You just have to figure out how to spend it. So if I really want this interceptor repair, I'm going to want to try to get uh, this thing done. So I might want to put a little bit of money into researching this uh, the re research. Yeah. The central officer does something very similar, uh, but the central officer has these satellites. The satellites, uh, there are several places that you can put them, but generally speaking, you're going to be putting them on the around orbit. And these are attack satellites. These are satellites that will uh, attack the uh, any UFOs that show up in orbit. And I've got these little UFOs over to the side, and I'll be putting them onto the board as well. They're little, little cute little UFOs. Ding. Okay, so uh, let's see here. So commander, again, tracking assets. That's pretty much the only thing that the commander does. The central officer is dealing with the uh, satellites, and that's what they're all up to. Uh, and they're also managing other stuff too, but they're, they're generally the person who runs the app, but when you're playing with only yourself, that's going to be me. So there's that. Uh, the scientist is research researching stuff, and every single card that you complete as a research thing is good. It gives you extra abilities that you can play around with, and is just all around good. The squad leader over here is in charge of all of the military. So these these characters here uh, are trying. To, we're trying to use them to kill various enemies, and uh, you can't really see it very well here, but uh, each character card has these symbols on it. I know, right? Uh, these symbols, uh, I really need like a third camera is what I need. Uh, so that I can have like a, a, a close-up camera, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. We'll see if we can't improve these things. But each, each character has slightly different things that they can do. Uh, like the sniper is really good at sniping. And so various enemies will require Let's see here if I can pull one up. So like the Cyberdesk uh, requires lots of sniping. So if you have the sniper, it's really good against this Cyberdesk. So what the enemies are that we go into a round, though, is dependent completely upon the app. Also, oh, the squad leader also sets the mission, which is over here. And I'll explain uh, what those are as I'm, as I'm going. I'm going to be playing on easy because I need as much time as possible uh, because I'm running all four <laughs> characters at once. Generally speaking, what I would need to do here is uh, not be insane and not do this this way, but um, that's just how it is. <laughs> I, I just need to go a little bit, I need a little bit more time. Oh, one more thing that the commander does is they deal with crises. Crises are the, this little deck here. Anytime the, the app says draw a crisis, I uh, you the commander has to draw two and, and pick one, and they're all bad. They're, they're they're all bad. Everything is bad. So let's jump into uh, an easy mode game, and uh, there is an expansion to this. I haven't gotten it uh, yet because I I just actually picked this game up. So uh, we're gonna just play a single player game. Yep, and we're gonna play an easy level. Okay. Yeah, yes, yes, I, I have actually. No, no, back. Ah, oh, shoot. Yes, next. There we go. Okay, so let's play with... Um, let's play with Onslaught. That one's a fairly easy one to... There we go. So this basically just says, hey, there we go. That's This is the, the big mission of the, of the game. Uh, and also provides ideas about what might happen when the base is damaged. Uh, the base has... 
two big red spots right here. Uh, that triggers the special missions ability there. So in this case, anytime we get to this spot on the board and this spot on the board, we have to kill two soldiers, which is not great. It is not great at all. All right. Um, and also, uh, the, the goal of the game is to complete this final mission. At a certain point, the app will say, hey, flip this card over. Now we have to do this mission. And so the mission is going to, this is how you win the game. If you complete this mission, you win. But to get to this mission unlocked, we need to first complete somewhere between two and four smaller missions here. So I'm going to try to accomplish these missions as fast as possible so that we can get to the final mission. If we complete the final mission, we win the game. All right. Um, I will explain the game as, as I'm playing, but again, feel free to ask any questions. I do have the stream chat up right there. Uh, and it looks like we have um, the enemies that, uh, th that we're playing with are determined by the app as well. So I need to pull out the cards from the deck, uh, from the minion deck, uh, not the minion deck, the uh, enemy deck, so that I have all of the requisite things. So I need the mutons, these guys, right there. And uh, these guys are generally just a little bit beefier, but they have no special abilities, which is why we're playing on easy. And then we also have the thin men. Uh, the thin men are, are very dangerous. Here, let's pull that up there. The thin men, uh, anytime that they die, we have to spawn a new creature. So like they're super easy to kill, but the downside is that uh, they spawn new, new stuff. So that's, that's kind of annoying. And then we have chrysalids. Chrysalids, uh, some of them have a special ability that says, uh, ooh, do I have, where are you going? Okay. Uh, before the first roll against this enemy each round, we have to increase threat. And I'll explain what threat is in just a second. Okay, so I shuffle up this deck right here. We're shuffling this up, shuffling it up, shuffling it up. And I'm gonna put this deck right here next to the crises. Okay. Uh, threat. So the whole idea behind this game is anytime we do a check of any kind, be it a scientist check or an attack check or whatever, wh whatever we do, we have to roll dice. And these dice are like this. Uh, there are four of the blue dice. Uh, there are two successes on each of these four dice. So what that means is we have success, we have success, and then all the other sides are blank. <laughs> so one third out of the time you get a success. That's it. Which is not great. Um, so you want to be rolling a lot of dice because the successes are required. Anytime you want to kill an enemy, it's, it, you require a success. Anytime you want to do anything else, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just bad. So, uh, threat. Anytime you start rolling for something, you have to roll the red die along with it. Then you check the red die against the current threat level, which is over here. We have one, two, three, four, and then five. It, uh, every task, we start at one. If you equal or are less than the current threat level, uh, all of the things die <laughs> that you were trying to help out with. So this game is not a friendly game. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> uh, it is, it, it's mean. And then once you make one roll, you have to move it up, and then you can keep going. Or you can stop. It's up to you. Uh, it, if you stop, your stuff won't get destroyed, but also the things that were there will kill you, which is, which is just annoying. So that's threat. So against the chrysalids, which are in the uh, enemy deck here, they're just going to start at level two. <laughs> so it's it's really dangerous to go off against them, which is, which is super scary. All right. So now that we have a basic idea of what's going on, again, I will, I will try to narrate as much as I can. Okay. So that, uh, hey, look at that. Uh, we're, our HQ is in Africa. And what that means is that uh, depending on where your HQ is, you have uh, special cards for the commander. Uh, and what that means is that we just grab the, the Africa one. And this card says, oh, come on. Place one money on the emergency funding asset card. And we use this as long as Africa's panic level is in the yellow. So basically it's one extra money every round as long as we keep Africa relatively clean. Okay, uh, and to begin the game, we start with 10 
uh, money on the emergency funding card, and that's it for the entire game. Uh, so uh, essentially this means if we can keep Africa safe, it means that we're going to probably get maybe three or four more extra money over the course of the entire game. Okay. So this is the setup panic level. So uh, you can kind of see the um, uh, Australia starts at what level one here. They're, they're not super panicked. Uh, we've got Africa, which starts at level four, yikes. Uh, so that means that we're going to want to try to reduce that as much as possible. Europe is also starting at level four and Asia is also starting at level four and then North America and South America are starting at level three. So everyone starts pretty panicked. Uh, one thing that is uh, really great about this game is uh, it shows just how uh, petty American uh, the governments can be. It's like, okay, aliens are attacking us, but we're only going to provide you this much funding. <laughs> Go! <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, that's uh, if they get more panicked, the, you're gonna get less and less money, which is kind of frustrating. Anyway, uh, so if we start, that means that we're gonna start a timed round. So there's a timed round, and then there's a, a resolution round. During the timed round, I can use certain abilities, uh, like the uh, Sky Ranger. Uh, the Sky Ranger means I can place two soldiers here from from the reserve over here, and I can get rid of one of the crisis cards. Uh, that's one thing that I have to keep in mind. Uh, the Research Center lets me uh, discard two tech cards to draw two tech cards here. And basically what Exhaust means is I just need to like tap this, I can't use it anymore. Uh, this is probably not going to be used all that much this for this game because I'm playing solo and I don't have enough attention to pay attention to my hand of cards that are here. I'm, I'm going to be trying to go through the Scientist deck as quickly as possible. Uh, over here again, the All In, the, the Africa ability. That lets me place one money on the emergency funding. So during the time phase, I'm gonna just try to do that as soon as possible and not and just forget about it. Uh, officer training is, an, is another uh, card over here. And it allows us to put these little cards, right? Uh, these little tokens here on our, uh, our dudes. So there's a little slot here. You can, here, let's see if I can't, there we go. Uh, it, it pops in like that. And basically what this means is it's an elite officer and they roll one extra die when they're fighting stuff. So that's one way to make it a little bit easier for you to fight things, but it costs you basically an entire turn to get that uh, that dude all, all prepped. So I might be doing that, we'll see. Uh, the, command, uh, the central officer up here has two abilities. Uh, this one is Satellite Nexus. I can place one uh, of my satellites here. Uh, that's going to cost me a money as well don't forget anytime I place anything that means I'm having to pay for it uh, I have to move I get to move one UFO on the board to orbit or to a continent so I can move something like if there's an Africa and I, I'm not gonna be able to deal with it I can move it up to orbit or if orbit's gonna get overwhelmed I can bring one orbit uh, one from orbit down to a, a, a continent that's not that's currently in the yellow uh, this one lets me reroll the alien die once, and the alien die is that red evil die that we're gonna have to roll every single time. So if we get a really bad roll, we can reroll once over the entire <laughs> over the entire round. Okay, so we're ready to go. Let's jump into this again. If uh, make sure that the levels are good. So let me know if the music is a little bit too loud. I, I pulled it off of uh, in Incompetech, Kevin McLeod. He's a great artist. Definitely go support him. Uh, but you can check it in the uh, thing over on the right side underneath the board. All right, so let's get into it. So begin round one. Okay, deploying. That means I'm gonna have to get a ton of money. I'm, I, I, the first thing that always happens is get money. Oh, nope, never mind. It's not, I draw six cards. That's all I do. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And done, okay. Now I get 12 credits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and done. Whew. Okay, so assign research one. All right, so we've got some cards. This let us discard salvage, which is uh, when we kill enemies. I, I can place a researcher here to just build a uh, in interceptor. Uh, let's uh, let's do this one as research one, okay? And we're gonna do that. We're gonna just put one researcher on there. There we go. Okay, and choose mission. Uh, before we do that, I'm just gonna check. Okay, so there's gonna be UFOs that show up in uh, orbit and South America. So now we have a mission. Okay, uh, the missions that we have are alien assault or terror site. Uh, we can reduce panic. 
uh, if we do the terror site and we get to destroy UFOs. I think terror site's gonna be better because it lets us reduce panic a lot. So we, we have three panics that go down. So we're gonna do that one. And the way that that works is we also place uh, a couple enemies face down on here. We don't know what they're gonna be yet. We're gonna be done there. Okay, UFOs detected. So that's when we draw UFOs and we have to put one in uh, orbit and one in South America. And that's all that happens there. Okay. Again, I'm trying to explain this as much as best as possible. Whew, okay. Crisis. Okay, so we're going to draw two crises. All right, and increase panic in each continent by one. That's bad. The first two successes rolled against each mission task this round. Do not place one uh, success on it. Uh, each mission task. Uh, so that's the mission. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do that one. And then discard the other one. Okay. Enemy in the base. That means we draw one enemy and we place it in the base. There we go. And that's it, done. And emergency funding available. So I'm going to need, uh, I have 12 money right now, I've spent one. Uh, that means that I should probably, oop, let's get another emergency funding while I'm thinking about this. Uh, so 12, so one, let's say two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, uh, 11, 12. Why don't we grab like three money? Uh, th I'll, from the from the supply there we go uh the reason and again i'll explain why after we resolve this i uh, will we'll get into that once we do the resolution all right we're good there assign research three okay so now uh we have extra money now we we know that we we got enough here um let's try to try to do this plasma cannon and really invest heavily in it uh so i'm gonna put three scientists on it this lets me place one interceptor on here and just assign a hit to something which is really really good okay ufos detected so we're showing up one in australia okay and where else are they going to show up we can click this little thing here so one's going to show up in asia as well okay deploy squad to mission okay so the mission now we can reveal these cards uh i don't think i'm going to actually try to even attempt this mission because of that crisis that we got it's just going to be too hard to go on this right now so i'm going to actually neglect to do this and spend some time looking at my science cards um ooh, okay the defense matrix is pretty good it lets us uh exhaust it to just prevent one uh, spaceship from from dying so I think that's one and we're just gonna assign one of the one of these things here okay and then we'll go oh, enemy in the base okay again we're just gonna show up in uh, Asia here enemy in the base we draw one card here and we put it over here okay and we're done there UFOs detected again we knew that that was coming it's coming into Asia there we go uh, another enemy in the base Ooh, this is gonna be dangerous okay uh, a thin man that's kind of annoying but whatever okay Deploy interceptors. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, we have lots. Okay, so let's let's throw a bunch of interceptors around here like that. Okay, that should be fine. I'm just counting up the amount of money that we're spending here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's all we're spending right now. Uh, and then we're gonna want nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, okay, so we should be fine in terms of our, our funds, okay? So defend the base. Now we need to defend the base. I need to put a bunch of, um, let's put a sniper, let's put an assault because that will help me, let me kill those things. And let's put one heavy and actually let's just assign one of each. And before I forget, let's uh, put an assault over on the officer training because that's free. I just need to do it. Um, okay, I think that, that should be good, okay. Assign research number two. Oh, I did that already. I must have made a mistake. I must have made a mistake somewhere. Another one in Africa. Shoot. Okay. Okay. We're going into Africa. There we go. That's annoying. Don't like that at all. Um, deploy satellites. Here we go. And I'm just going to put one satellite out. I think one and one should be able to kill it. Um, okay. And then we're done with the time phase. So uh, generally in a not... A, a, a not easy game if we're playing with normal or hard uh, we'd have limited amount of time to deal with this so I think uh, we can probably look at we have basically unlimited time to use all the rest of the stuff so do we want to place a satellite here to move one UFO on the board to orbit um, that's going to cost the money though 
or do we want to move one unit from its reserve to the board or from its uh, reserve to the so basically do we want to put out another dude we can place the mission control lets us place a, a satellite here to move an extra dude out if we we were too late but i think we're good um yeah i think we'll, i think we'll be good all right okay i think we're all good with the time the time phase so now let's go into resolution so this is the resolution phase this is the first of many so we've got resolution phase number one we audit the budget so now using the money that we had in our pool we have to basically pay for everything that we put out so let's go through each one so count the number of satellites so satellites we have out is one so we just return one to the supply uh scientists we have five so we pay for five one two three four five there we go then we count the interceptors we have one two three so we have to pay three more uh and then each unit that we had costs one money as well so that's four units so we need to place four more money okay so that means that we have two money left over uh to spend uh to buy things so we can buy some of our new units so we can basically get more of them i think i want to buy at least one assault so i'm going to do that for one money sorry i should move to the next one recruit soldiers and build interceptors and probably let's pick up another heavy as well i think yeah let's just, the heavy this is the heavy so we'll move that over there so now we've spent all of our money we're good there okay and now we move on to the next resolve crises so there was really only one crisis so uh the first six, two successes rolled against each mission task this round do not place one uh success on it so we're not doing the mission at all this round because of this card we, we probably could have but eh, whatever so this one gets discarded and basically we can ignore it because we we're not doing the mission which is right here we're not doing that at all okay only one crisis was pretty good chief scientist it's time to do chief scientist so first things first is the uh we we go from left to right here we do this one this one and this one oh well right to left for for you viewers so this one is first we have one scientist attached to it so that means we roll one blue die and the alien die for this task so if we get a success on this uh we get this ability for the rest of the game which is good and i'll explain what it is if we get it Heck. okay so that was not a success uh that's really unfortunate uh but this was an eight and the threat was a one so we move the threat up and we're fine we can roll again okay that was a five and still not a success so we move it up again and we can roll again let's try it again there we go yeah okay so i rolled a success and i rolled a six which is higher than uh three strictly higher than a three so we're good uh, we we did it successfully. Yay, we did it. And so now we get this card and we return the scientist back to the supply. So the uh, this ability is run and gun. Uh, so we can place one assault unit on this card and we get to add one XCOM die to each roll against an enemy task. So that means that, uh, that we can add one extra die to the entire roll for the entire roll uh which is good especially for the defend the base action because that is one task in in, in its entirety so i uh, it doesn't reset the threat anytime the threat is reset it's a new task so knowing that uh, i'm actually going to put this right next to the assault because uh, that is an ability strictly with the assaults so as long as we keep that we're good all right so um then so now again what i was just saying is we're going to move on to the next science mission here and this is a new task so we actually re re uh, return the threat back to, to one again so there's always a risk a one in eight chance that this can just fail right off the bat but uh it's worth the risk here so that was a five and nothing there so we're, we, we're still fine we move the threat up to two okay we hit a seven and a success so we do get this because it only requires uh one it only requires one success and now we have this ability so we can exhaust this to prevent a uh, 
interceptor from being destroyed, which is nice. I'll just keep it down here. Okay, uh, for myself, that's just something that I can do. And then that, that scientist returns back to my supply, and we go on to the third one. So this one is very scary because it requires uh, three successes for this one, uh, but we assigned three researchers to it, so hopefully we'll be fine. Let's see what we do. Okay, we got one success, so the way that we track that is we actually just put a success marker right there. Okay, and I'm realizing the more that I'm doing this is that I do actually need a, a third camera <laughs> uh, to, to handle close-ups here. So I will work on getting that. Again, this is, this is a learning experience for me as well, so I'm going to try to improve as we're going here. All right, so we got one success, and we're going to move threat up to number two. Okay. We're still rolling three because we've got three scientists associated with it. Ah, dang it. Okay, so we rolled a one here. and But we did get one success. So we put the success, success on here. But now all these scientists basically failed at their job and like and it, something exploded. And so now they're going to be exhausted. So we can't use them during the next round. So we put them face, face down like so. You can see that they have like a big old X on them. Uh, but we can keep those two successes for the future. So uh, next round, we don't have access to three of our scientists, but now this only needs one success. So next turn, we can probably get this, and it'll be just fine. All right, let's move on to the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to do the orbital defense, and that's this thing up here. So we have one satellite associated with the orbit, so we have to kill this thing. So we get to roll one die along with the threat. So we're going to roll. That was a fail. Uh, and this was a five. So we get to we get to roll again. Ah, uh, not a success again. Roll, uh, move the three up. Uh, move the, the threat up to three. And we're going to roll again. Uh, a f okay, we rolled a four on the alien die with no success. And I mean, like, we're, we should be fine. We can keep doing this. Come on, show me. Okay, we've rolled three times. We've got nothing, so hopefully this will be our lucky one. No! Dang it. Okay, well, we didn't get a success, but we rolled a 7, so we're fine. And now we're on threat level 5, so we, we really need a success here. Okay, woo! Okay, we got a success, which means that we kill the alien UFO that's in orbit. And we also rolled a 7 on our die here, and so that means that the, the satellite is safe as well. Nice! That was actually a super lucky round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, if we had left uh, that that UFO right here, you can read on the on the uh, app here. We would have had to increase the panic of the lowest uh, continent by one. So we would have had to move Australia up by one if we'd left that thing there. Okay. Now we resolve the global defense. So now for each continent, we now need to deal with it. <laughs> so let's go with uh, South America. So South America, we're gonna start at threat level one. We're gonna roll the die. And we didn't get anything. We're gonna move to threat level two. Still no success, but we rolled a six. Threat level three. Ah, dang it. Okay, so that means that uh, we did get a success, which means that we do kill the, the UFO. Uh, but we rolled a three. Uh, our current threat level is three, and so that means that this interceptor would die. But we have this nice little card, which means that we can exhaust it and prevent that uh, interceptor from being destroyed. So this is the one time per use where we're going to just return this interceptor back to its card. It survived. It, it, got, it had a lucky shot. <laughs> Whew. Whew. That was scary. All right, so now we're gonna move to Asia here. We've got one interceptor. Uh, and we're gonna replace it, but we're back down to threat level one again. Okay, uh, we rolled a seven plus nothing, so we're gonna move up to threat level two. Uh, we rolled a three, so we're still safe. We're at threat level three, we still did not have a success. We rolled an eight, still no success. Threat level four now. Ah, yes, okay. So we got a success, which means the UFO dies, and uh, now we're back down. We're and we rolled a seven, so the interceptor does not die; it returns back. Okay, Australia now. We're at threat level one. Ha! We rolled a two and a success. Ha ha! Alien is dead. Nice. All right. And now, uh, 
Africa did not have any interceptor associated with it, so it just increases in panic by one because there's a giant UFO hovering over it. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. So, I uh, and that that alien that UFO just stays right where it is. It never it never leaves. All right, next one. Was the XCOM base destroyed? Uh, no, no, it has not. Did we? Did I skip something? That's weird. Oh, resolve, there we go, squad, there, okay. I need to do this one first. So now we need to resolve the squad uh, effect here. So the way that we do this is we can, uh, we have to resolve the base defense here. I was confused because the base only gets damaged when we, we leave things here. So we wanna try to kill as many of these things as possible. So uh, this is all one task, don't forget. So we're gonna use one assault right here on the run and gun ability. This lets us add one XCOM die to each roll against this enemy task. So this is one enemy task. So I uh, we can roll we basically get one permanent addition, one additional die for every one of these tasks. So let's move one of these things up here. Uh, so you can see that this has three abilities on it. Uh, you can assign up to three units to this uh, enemy, and we need two successes against it. You can see that right there. Right there. Let's, let's try to get it. Uh, so the abilities just match uh, and match to the character abilities. So you can see that the assault. I really need a, a close-up cam here. <laughs> uh, the assault. There we go. Uh, has this ability right here, and so we can assign it to this top ability up here. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try to kill this muton, uh, and. Uh, that means that I do have an assault, so I'm going to put an assault on the top ability. I can put a heavy on the explody ability and a sniper on the sniper ability. So I have three units that I can attack with this. And, and don't forget that I have the run and gun ability over here. Uh, that means that I get one additional die. So I am rolling four dice to try, try to get two successes here. And I'm starting at danger level one here. Ooh, hold on. Right, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Roll. Well, uh, this is this is XCOM for you. Um, that's a one, which means that all of these three dudes would die. Um, that's not good, and I got zero successes for that, which is not good. <laughs> so I'm gonna re-roll the alien die using my satellite uh, uplink here. So I'm gonna just hope that I don't roll another one. Okay, phew. Well, that's not good. <laughs> So I'm going to move this up to number two, and I'm going to try this again. Oh my gosh. Well, I rolled another one, but I did roll one success. Wow. So all three of these guys died against this muton. <laughs> That's really annoying. And uh, we're on threat level three now. I. We do have one more unit still attached to this, so we definitely want to try to, to kill this thing. Uh, and it is a support, so we can put it on the... Uh, it does have the ability to go on the sniper ability. So we're going to roll uh, two dice now. Wow, and we just need one success. I'm really just hoping we can kill one thing here. Okay, so this did successfully... This I rolled a three, which means that this guy does die. Ah. But this, this card does die, so that's good. Uh, when a card dies like this, it becomes salvage to be used by the scientist. Uh, salvage is used by several cards, uh, like the laboratory. So when I'm researching stuff, I can discard a salvage to add one die to each roll during a research task. So that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Uh, so we do have the ability to just add one die permanently without risking a scientist, which is good. All right, so uh, that was the base defense, and we have two of our uh, two dudes here uh, left over. So that means that they deal two damage to the base, and then they're just discarded. <sighs> that was really unfortunate, <laughs> but that's XCOM for you, and that's just what you, what you gotta handle. Sometimes you, you, you get dealt a bad hand. Sometimes you have a bad roll. That's just 
the way the cookie crumbles. So it was not destroyed yet. Uh, now we resolve the mission. We, we didn't do the mission at all. Uh, now we have to set the, uh, the all of the various yellow things and reds to where they currently are. It just matters what color they're on. So everyone's still currently on yellow, so we're good. So we're going to move on to the next. We did not complete the mission. So we're going to continue here. And now we re refresh everything. So that means that all of the cards that we uh, exhausted for any particular reason now become unexhausted, which is good. Uh, and interceptors all come back here. The satellites go back to here. And we start a new round. Wow, uh, this is really bad because I really like this run and gun ability over here. This is really good, but it requires an assault and two of my assaults just died. <laughs> Uh, no, no, never mind. I have an assault. It was on my training thing over here. So now I actually have an elite assault. Uh, the elite assault basically means that it adds one extra die to the roll, which is which is really good. All right, let's move on to the next uh, round here. We have all of our stuff ready to go. Uh, we get all units reserved. We did that. Yep. Okay. And... Now we need to check how many UFOs are in orbit. We killed that one in orbit, so we're fine. So it's zero. And now we're gonna begin round two. This is round, round two is the same thing. I'm gonna try to narrate as best as I can. Uh, don't forget that we do have plasma cannon here. It's a uh, three costing, uh, three success tech, so it's really good. If we can get this, uh, we get to place one, we can place one of our uh, interceptors on it to just assign a success on an enemy that has a soldier assigned to it. We can do that up to twice. So that's a really great way to not roll dice, but still kill things. <laughs> so it's very important that we get that this time. And so I'm going to try to at least put one of my, my things on it. So let's begin round two. Here we go. Okay, so we get to draw up to six. And we've got a couple good, couple good cards here. Man, these are all pretty good. Oh, guys, and okay, 14. We got 14. Uh, that's uh, seven, three, and four. I can't do this fast enough. There we go, done. Okay, choose mission. Um, the mission is still there, so uh, let's use this time to look at our cards. We've got a new one that says Plasma Sniper. We get to exhaust this to place one success on an enemy that has a sniper assigned to it. That's pretty good, so I kind of want that one. Uh, UFO Navigation, we can exhaust this to refresh one asset card or another tech card. That's pretty good. That's really good. Um, we're definitely going to want to try to do that one. And I uh, place one support here to prevent a soldier from being killed. So we definitely want to do, I think we want to, anytime where we can place out things, uh, successes immediately is good. Oh shoot, I forgot to do that. Um, gotta keep, gotta keep going. So. UFO in Europe, and a new UFO is going to show up in orbit. Okay, that's good to know. We're done there. Crisis. Let's jump into this. Okay, we got two crises. Uh, move two interceptors from global defense to the reserve, or deal one damage to the base. Ew. Okay, well, we're going to do uh, move two interceptors. Okay, and discard the other one. There we go. And we're done. Enemy in the base. Uh, where are we showing up? We're showing up in orbit. That's right. So now we just need to assign one enemy to the base, and it's a thin man. So that's got, that guy's pretty easy. Good. Assign research one. Okay, so that means that we want to put... Uh, let's put UFO navigation on, on number one. And uh, don't... Okay, so... And how many scientists? Let's put two on there. Okay. So that means that we're going to... Okay, I'm just... I'm thinking out loud here. We're gonna, I'm going to need to count money here soon. UFOs detected. We show... One UFO shows up in orbit. There we go. Uh, we're done there. Deploy squad to mission already. Okay, so this is the mission. We do want to do this. Uh, let's assign a heavy. Uh, let's do a support and a sniper. Uh, support, yeah. Yes, let's do that. Uh, three will be good. There we go. And we have uh, something showing up in North America. That's something we should pay attention to. Okay, we're going to play our plasma sniper. This is the one where we get to place... Uh, one success on an enemy immediately, which is really, really good. We want that really uh, quite a lot. Okay, so we've got... Uh, I'm just counting money here. We have four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
emergency funding available. So we have seven money that we've spent so far. Uh, so seven money. We're probably gonna want uh, three more here. So that's up to 10. We're gonna want four. So we probably wanna get, let's just grab five more money from the supply because we're gonna need to buy back all of our dead dudes. Ah, all right. I think we're good there. Yeah, so we, we'll, we will have a budget surplus, but that allows us to buy back a bunch of our stuff. So that's good. Okay, enemy in the base. Another another enemy. Okay, another thin man. That's really annoying. Okay, crisis. Another crisis. Okay, uh, increase panic in Europe or increase panic in Australia. Uh, we can definitely exhaust that for Australia. That's fine. Okay, done. UFOs detected. We knew that that one was going to show up in North America. That's fine. Deploy interceptors. We absolutely need to kill the thing in Africa. Um, oh, and we have to put out two extra ones. Uh, the reason for that is because the crisis is going to resolve. Actually, no, we can get rid of that. Um, let's 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 do that. So we're gonna use this to get rid of that crisis, so we don't have to uh, move two back. Um, so one, one, and one should be fine. So we're good. Defend the base. So now we need, uh, shoot, now we just have the one support here. Oh, the assault actually will, this is perfect. Okay, the assault there is actually really good because it can cover both. And if we get the plasma rifle, we can, oh, it's, it's sniper, dang it. If we get the plasma cannon, we can we can just kill that. So that, that should work, that should work fine. All right, uh, enemy in the base, that's, Really bad. Oh, that's oh, it's just another thin man. Okay, we're okay. We're fine. 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 Okay, UFOs detected in Australia. Why Australia? Gah. Okay. Assign research three. We're good there, and we will put our last uh, researcher there. That should be fine. Uh, again, we don't have access to the three dead researchers uh, until next round. Deploy satellites. Uh, yeah, let's just throw one satellite over here. And end time phase. Do we want to do any actions during the time phase? Uh, let's see here. Uh, time phase. Do we want? Oh yes, yes. Africa. We need to. We need to put one of our. <laughs> I'm glad that I did this. I, uh, for all in, we need to exhaust this card and we get one free money over to emergency funding. But we need to do that. We need to do it. Eh. Okay. Uh, this one. Do we want to move a? Uh, do it around. I don't think so. And do we want to pull one? Not really. Pull, pull one uh, UFO to orbit or from orbit. I, I don't think we should do that. Uh, we, I think we're just going to let Australia be a little bit panicked. All right. I think we're good. Let's move into the next round. This is resolution phase two. Proceed. Audit the budget. We've got 19 money to work with. Let's see what we got. All right, so first things first, count the number of satellites. That cost one, there we go. Uh, count the number of soldiers. We have four soldiers out, so we're gonna pay four. Okay, uh, scientists. So we have five of those, so paying five. And interceptors, we have three of those. Okay. And we didn't sign any other things, so we're good. Okay. And now, there is a budget surplus of quite a lot. Uh, we've got six money left over, which is excellent. So we're just going to buy back all of our dead units. <laughs> so we get back our support. We get back our sniper. We get back our other sniper. We get back our heavy. We get back our other support. And we get back our uh, other assault. That's good because now we have an assault that we can use to run and gun. So adding a die to every single, uh, the, this card right here, allows us to add a, a uh, an extra die to one whole mission, which probably is gonna be this one. All right. Resolve crises. The only crisis that we have is increasing panic in Australia. So we're gonna move Australia up to the next level. Okay, and that's it for that one. Hook day. Next, resolve research. Okay, UFO navigation. This one, if we get it, we can exhaust it to refresh another asset card or another tech card. So any, basically any time that we exhaust something, we can reuse it. So allowing us to reroll the alien die, which would be excellent. 
All right. So we get two dice. Uh, and we could discard a salvage to add one additional die. Uh, this is actually probably really important. I want to do the UFO. Do I want to do that? I'm, I'm deciding, do I want it on the plasma cannon or do I want it on the UFO navigation? I think the plasma cannon is much more important uh, to get one more success on. So I, I definitely want to save it for, for this one. Okay, so let's roll. Okay, got zero. Zero successes, but I got a four, so we're safe. We can keep rolling. Okay, we got one success. So we can put one success on the UFO navigation. And we rolled a seven, so we can roll again. We're on threat level three. We rolled a two, so these two scientists get uh, exhausted. Okay. But we do... This is successful because we, even though they exploded themselves, we still get the success that was here. So we do earn the UFO navigation, which now lets us unexhaust something that we already used this turn. So I'll just keep it down here and narrate as I, I go go to it. All right. Next is to do the number two. We got plasma, the the plasma sniper. We reset back to threat level one. We roll. We roll. Got one success. That's good. And now we go to threat level two. Uh, we rolled a six on that, so we're, we can roll again. Threat level two, we're, we, got a, we rolled a four with no successes, so let's move up to threat level three and try again. Okay, so both of these scientists are down. And this did not succeed. And now we will use our one salvage that we collected from last round. We discard it to the, to the pile over here. And we get one extra die. So we get one plus one. So we're rolling two dice. And we just need one success for the plasma cannon. Show me good. Excellent. Okay. So now we've completed the plasma cannon. So now I can place one I, of my interceptors, which I have plenty of them over here. And I can assign one I hit to an enemy that has a soldier assigned to it just automatically, which is really, really good. All right. Again, if anyone has any questions while I'm playing, please feel free to ask. I am watching the chat. Uh, right now. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This is really, really fun, and I hope that you are enjoying this as much as I am. All right. Uh, next, we did all the research. So we're, we're done with research, and we do have this thing back. These guys heal. That's good. Next is Central Officer. So now we just need to roll uh, one, one XCOM die for the satellite that's in orbit. And we rolled a seven with no success, so we roll uh, threat level two. We rolled another seven with zero success. Uh, we rolled a one, so this satellite is now dead. And that's really unfortunate. We left one in, in orbit, so now we have to increase our uh, th panic in the lowest, so we can choose which one it is. I think we're gonna just move South America up by one, and that should be fine. All right. So that's it there. Resolve global defense. So now we do each uh, of the continents. So where is my where's my die? Here it is. Okay, let's do North America at thre threat level one. We rolled a four and a success. Excellent. UFO's dead. Nice. Let's go to uh, Europe here. Back to the threat level one. That is zero success, but it rolled a six. So threat level two. And my interceptor dies. And that UFO stays there. And we're gonna move up Europe by one danger. Okay, and now we're going to Africa at threat level one. Really want this to succeed. We rolled a two, so we're still fine, but we rolled zero successes. Rolled a three and a success, yes. Okay, it's gone, yay. And I now we have to move up Australia by one as well. That's really bad. Okay, uh, interceptors can come back to the interceptor supply. All right, uh, now we're done with global defense, so let's move to base defense. So I have one dude, <laughs> one dude on that task. Yikes. So basically what that means is I just need to try to kill 
what, what I can do here is because I have a support there, the support can take on all three of those, but I can only take on one at a time. I think I'm gonna have to try to kill one and just see what happens. So I'm at threat level one. Zero successes, threat level two. Zero successes, threat level three. We killed one, okay, so we can kill this. We just let it be done, there it is. We're at threat level four. And we're trying to kill this one on the on the left here. Okay, so that did not succeed. So this guy dies, and both of these deal two one damage each to these guys. Uh, and these guys just go to the discard. Uh, one of the thin men. The I'm kind of sacrificing my base a little bit here, but when this thin man dies, he just draws a new enemy. So like I would have had to assign more than just the one. So it wasn't worth it for me to try to kill that one. Um, because I really want to focus my, my efforts on the mission this time. All right, so now that we're on the mission, I am going to assign my run and gun assault dude over there so that now I, I roll one extra die for this entire round. So first thing this first is I'm going to try to, I have to fight this chrysalid uh, right here. See how there's a little uh, yellow border right here? That means that it has a specialty bonus if you use the right unit on that on that card. So the correct unit on that is a heavy. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna assign the heavy to that one. And I'm gonna assign the support to that one. So when you use a specialized thing, you get one bonus die. So I get two dice for the heavy because he's assigned to the specialty, uh, plus the one here. And then I get one extra die because I did the run and gun right here. So we're on threat level one, trying to kill this chrysalid. Yikes. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I rolled zero and I rolled a two. So, well, we're gonna just try again. Threat level two, we're fine. Okay, we got one success. And I will use one of my uh, interceptors with the plasma cannon back here and assign one more hit to this which means that now it has it has two, two damage, and so it dies. So we get that as salvage, and we can move on to the next step. So the next one is a chrysalid again. Uh, and the danger dangerous thing about this is before fighting this thing, I, I'm gonna have to increase the threat by one. So now I'm going to be at threat level four, just fighting this one thing. So it is super dangerous to do this, but I only need one success uh, to, to fight this thing. So uh, it does have a sniper ability, so that makes it super easy for me to try to attack it. Um, but do I want to risk more than one unit on this thing? Because if I save my, my unit, for, uh, if this dies, only the sniper dies. So I'm only assigning the sniper to this, and I, I get three dice to try to get two hits. Which is not bad. And if I if it's not successful, only the sniper dies. So that's, I feel, reasonable. And I only need one success, because I'm going to assign a... Uh, just I'm going to assign a hit to this, because I have the plasma cannon. That's the power of this plasma cannon back here. Again, if I just assign one of my interceptors to the plasma cannon, here, I'll bring it up here again. Um, if I assign one interceptor, I can just assign a hit automatically. I don't need to I don't need to do anything else. It just automatically assigns a hit. So I'm at threat level four, and I'm rolling three dice for this one chrysalid. I think that's okay. Okay. Three dice for one hit. I'm at threat level four. Let's do it. Wow. Okay, not only did the sniper succeed, I we got two successes, so we, we really didn't need the success there. So we get another salvage that we can use in the future, which is very good. Okay. Uh, but now we're at threat level five. <laughs> threat level five is super dangerous uh, because any anything five or less on the red die immediately kills whatever's assigned to it. So the final task of this mission is we just need to do that one thing right there. Uh, there we go. 
So you can see I need one of those two symbols, and if I use the support, which I do have, I get to roll an additional die. And because it, I'm still rolling one additional die, thanks to the running gun, I actually am rolling three dice. If I just assign, I'm only going to assign my support to this one thing. I And hopefully I can roll three dice and not die. I just need one success here and I, I win this mission. Wow, I rolled a six and two successes. That means that I succeeded at the mission and all of my guys survived. Oh, yeah, it feels so good. Yes! Yes! Okay, so, when this mission succeeds... Sorry, I should... Uh, not destroy it. Here we go. I... Oh, and I forgot, when, when this got past here, I have to kill two soldiers. So, I would have killed a sniper in this thing. So, those guys need to just die. Uh, Alright, so, Terror Sight. So, when I complete the Terror Sight, I get some special bonus stuff. Right here. So I can reduce panic in every in any continent by one, and I can reduce panic in South America by two. So, oh no, it's one or the other. I forgot. It is one or the other. It's not both. Um, I think I need to reduce panic in Africa. Yeah, South America is fine. I think panic in Africa is much more important. Yes. Yep, because again, with uh, the card over here, the all-in card, as long as Africa is in the yellow, I get one extra money every round. So I want to try to keep Africa healthy. So I'm going to move Africa down by one instead of moving South America down by two. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so that was really good because we succeeded at one mission. And we're still all in the yellow, so that's good. So we're going to move on to the next one. It was completed, which is good. So now we get back all of our stuff, so I'm going to move all of those back. I don't have any scientists assigned right now. Um, we lost one of our satellites this round, so that's fine. These guys all come back. They're fine again. Okay. And now we get to unexhaust everything. I think I unexhausted everything. Uh, we do have three salvage that we can use for, uh, for our various cards here. Um... So, just for next round, I want to point out one card that I do have, and it's this one. This is Xenobiology. So, if, by discarding X Salvage, I can research one tech card of cost X from my hand. I can do that once per round. So, basically, it lets me get a really high-costing thing if I can get it. So, I think that's actually something I should do. I should probably do that first. Yes. Okay. So, that's something that I need to pay attention to for the next round. Um... And I think we're ready to go. Okay. Yep, return units to reserves. Yes, we did that. And there is one UFO in orbit. So what that means is that uh, it scrambles the order of some of the stuff that's going to happen during the round, which is unfortunate, but there we go. So let's go into timed phase. Timed phase. Begin round three. Here we go. All right, so we have to get one uh, in Asia, one UFO in Asia. New technology available, so we have to draw two cards. But again, I, I do know what I'm, I'm going to be getting here. It's just good. Okay, 14 credits. So I get 14 money. One, two, three, four. Uh, done. Okay, 14, got it. Crisis. Let's draw two crises. The crises that we get are destroy two interceptors or lose half of your the money in emergency funding asset card rounded up. I mean, I can do that because I'm just going to exhaust the rest of it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to get one money onto that emergency funding. So we're going to do that. Assign research number one. So I'm going to put xenobiology there, and I'm going to put two of my scientists there. Okay, and just checking, we're going to show up in Europe here, so I need to be aware of that. Okay. Do I want to discard one research tech or kill two soldiers? probably want to discard one research tech. That's probably better. I don't want to kill my soldiers any more than I have to. Right? Enemy in the base. Uh, new enemy. And the enemy is a thin man that does replace himself, which is annoying. UFOs detected. So we show up in North America and Africa. Okay. It looks like we're going to have to put out a lot of interceptors this round. Choose mission. Okay. 
So the missions that we have, uh, if we succeed at these, we can reduce panic in Africa by two or reduce panic in Australia by two. I think we're gonna do the one in Africa. So we'll do that, okay? And we have to assign one enemy to that one, okay? And I think we're good. I think we're good, yeah, okay. And we're going to just be done there. UFOs detected and we're there. it's showing up in Europe. That's unfortunate, okay? Assign research number two. We already did that, but do we want to assign any scientists? Yes, we want to assign one. Okay. And UFOs detected in Asia. Yikes. Okay, so we're, we're getting a little bit dangerous here. We've got a, a lot of UFOs all over the place. We get another crisis. Uh, spawn two UFOs in a continent that has not fallen into panic. Or move all uh, satellites in orbit to their reserve. I well, I mean, if we're gonna go heavy on the UFOs, like let's just let's just go heavy on the UFOs. Okay, deploy squad to mission. Okay, so now we get to see what's here. Uh, we get a heavy, and uh, the heavy does both of those things, so that's good. Um, and then let's throw an uh, one of our good assaults on there. Yeah, and. Uh, let's throw on one sniper as well. Okay. Another crisis. Man, they are just not letting up this game, are they? Okay. Uh, first time a non Thin Man enemy has killed this round, spawn a new enemy in the spot, or the Chief Scientist discards three tech cards. Chief Scientist can discard three tech cards. That's fine. Enemy in the base. Another enemy. Okay. Uh, a Mouton. Okay. Emergency funding available. Uh, and we want to just get all of this funding back. So now we have all the funding in the world. Yay! Okay. Deploy interceptors. We have... Oh. We only have this many interceptors. Oh, no. This is not good. We only have three interceptors. Uh-oh. Um, well, we definitely need to take care of Europe here. Uh, Asia can take it for a round. Um... Africa's in danger. Oh no. Do I? Yep, I'm going to use one of my satellites uh, to move from Australia up to orbit here. Oh, crisis. Shoot. I, I need to do a crisis. Discard all salvage. Uh, increase panic in North America by one. Dang it. Um, ah! Increase panic. Ah! Okay, fine. Defend the base. Uh, it looks like heavies are good this round, and um, support? Is support good? Yeah, support's good too. Yep, support. Heavy and support, that should be fine. Assign research three. Um, sure, battle sequence, sure, and we'll, we will assign the one here. Um, Deploy satellites. Oh my gosh, are there more? There's one coming up in South America too. Okay, we need to put all three of our satellites out here. We, we really need to, to kill these things in orbit. Um, and I can put another thing here to pull up from North America too. Let's just try to fight in, let's fight in orbit. Let's just fight in orbit. Enemy in the base, another one. Ah! Oh, thin man again, dang it. These things are terrible. Okay. UFOs detected in South America. Dang it. Okay. Let's just, let's do another one here and pull it up to orbit. I'm just, I'm going hard here. Going hard. Done. Ending time phase. Do we want to do anything else? Ugh. Uh, yes. I want to make one of my snipers. Not my snipers. I want to make one of the supports a super, super good guy. Let me do that. Again, this lets us put a little token in, in the supply, this slot here. And let's, basically this guy is now super funded. And he's, he rolls one extra die whenever he attacks. All right. Um, anything else? Uh, we do have... I could get rid of one of the crises. There's a lot of crises. Um... Yeah, we don't want to, we, we actually do want to do this. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to place two of the soldiers on the Sky Ranger card, uh, which lets me just discard the spawn extra UFOs, because way too many UFOs spawn this round. I, I made a mistake that, uh, I didn't really make a mistake, I just, 
more UFOs showed up than I was ready for. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, now that this is fine, this can flip over. Okay. Uh, whoo! Resolution phase. Audit the budget. Okay. I have a lot of money available because I undid all the emergency funding. <laughs> I, I used all of the emergency funding this round because I had to. Because there's a thing that says lose all of, uh, a bunch of it. So, and I'm gonna want I'm gonna want it anyway because things are gonna die. Things are just gonna die, and I'm gonna want to buy them back. There we go. Count the number of satellites. I need to pay three, so I'm paying three. Count the number of scientists. I have four, so I need to pay four. All right, and then count the number of interceptors. I had three of those, okay? And then I think I overpaid. Oh no, units. Uh, I have two there and then three there, okay? So I have four money left over, so I'm gonna buy all of those guys and buy one of my snipers back. I need interceptors. I need all of my interceptors available. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. So I bought everything, yay. Okay, that's what I did with this round. It, I'm just skipping skipping ahead here. All right, resolve crises. Okay, uh, let's do these here. Uh, increase panic in North America by one. Yuck. Okay, chief scientist discards three cards. And again, I don't really care about that all that much. And I'm going to discard these ones. Here we go. I'm going to keep this one card because I can hopefully research it next round. Okay. And then I need to discard one research tech. And I'm going to get rid of, I think, the defensive matrix. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of the defensive matrix, which lets us prevent one uh, interceptor from being destroyed. Okay. And then I lose half my emergency funding, which I don't have any. Oh no, it's like I planned for it. Okay, so crises are done. Resolve research. We have xenobiology and we're at threat level one with two researchers. Let's go for it. I do have three salvage that I could use this round. Um, do I want to add one die? I don't think I, mm, I don't think so. Okay, okay excellent. I got one success and I rolled a two. So I'm gonna put one success on this. And I'm going to increase to threat level two. And I failed. Okay, so these scientists die. And uh, xenobiology is just sitting there looking pretty. That's unfortunate. Dang it. All right, plasma sniper. I need a one success. And I will use one of my, uh, one of these things to try to attack it. So I'm gonna roll two dice and I need one success. Threat level one, and I do get the success, so I'm good. So I get the plasma sniper. So this means that I get to place one success on an enemy that has a sniper assigned to it, so that's good. Okay, so this guy comes back, and I will go ahead and use one more of my salvage to roll two dice for the battle scanners. I need one success here. I got it, nice, and I get my scientist back. This one says, place one sniper here to choose a mission or enemy task. All icons on that task are specialized this round. So that specialized means it has that little yellow border, which means that we can uh, to make it easier for us to kill things, which is good. All right, research is done. Central officer, let's go into fighting UFOs in, in orbit. Oh boy. All right, rolling three dice to try to kill four of those dudes. Oh my gosh all the way up here so we have three UFO, uh three satellites against four ufos show me success I, hey hey you know what i'll take it that's uh that's two successes that's that's two ufos down i i'm i'm, I'm happy with that nice okay roll again okay well all of my satellites die um but I did kill the last two UFOs. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Resolve global defense. Okay. For each continent, roll one die for every interceptor. So I've got 
Uh, let's do Europe here. I'm, I have two interceptors here. So I'm going to roll. I got one success, so I killed the one, and I rolled a two, so I'm safe. I can roll again at threat level two. I did get, I guess, okay, I killed. I killed both of the UFOs, and my interceptors are fine. Okay, let's try to go into Asia here. I have one, one interceptor against one UFO. Interceptor dies, but it does take out the UFO as it goes. All right. That wasn't horrible. And then Asia does not have any interceptors, so it just increases its panic by two. So it is in the red now. That's kind of scary. Okay. Whoo, baby. All right. All right, all right, all right. Well, this is scary, but we should be able to do this. Okay, so now we need to go over here and try to fight things. Um, I think it would be best right now for me to just kill the two thin men. <sighs> kill the thin men. Oh, man. So the two thin men there will be replaced when they die, which is really annoying. So these two thin men will be replaced when we kill them. So we could try to just kill this guy right now. And we, we might as well. Let's try to kill, oh man, okay. Spawn a new enemy, that's really bad. Let's try to kill the Muton at least so that, because if all three of these stay this round, we lose because it's three damage to the base. So we need to kill at least one. So let's definitely try to kill the Muton. I think we can safely try to yeah, I think we can safely just roll for this. I'm just wondering, like, I, I have this run and gun that I can use to, uh... <sighs> yeah. To, to roll one extra die for this entire phase, which I might need to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to roll one extra die for this entire phase, and I'm just going to hopefully and just risk this this is super dangerous but i just i need to do it um so i'm going to assign my heavy to the muton so that means i'm actually rolling three dice because it's specialized so the heavy is specialized to i uh, attack that thing so i can roll three dice because i i did run and gun oh boy okay that was one success so i did deal one damage to it now i'm rolling for at danger level two, and I killed it. Okay, so Muton is dead, that's good. Okay, so we're not losing the game right now, that's good. Uh, so now let's do the support on the Thin Man, and I'm rolling two dice just to try to get one success. And I did, and that was that was threat level three. Uh, so this guy dies, but I do get one additional enemy that comes out, it's another Thin Man. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to assign the heavy to that because now I'm rolling three dice again. Again, just for one. I'm at threat level four now. Okay, so that the heavy dies, but it does kill the thin man. But I have to replace it with a chrysalid. Ugh. So this heavy is dead. Uh, let's go try to kill the chrysalid with this. It's at level five. Jeez. Nothing. Man. That's really bad. The base defense is, is so difficult. Okay, so it do, they deal two damage to me, to the base right here, and I do take two, I, I have to kill two soldiers, so I'm gonna just kill these two soldiers. <sighs> Yikes. So I really have to defend the base next turn. If any one thing gets by, I'm dead. I need to find a something that lets me negate abilities. Because the Thin Man thing is just killing me. It's killing me dead. Okay. So. Let's see here. Ouch. This guy comes back, though. I don't have any... Again, all of my units are taken up this turn. Uh, not destroyed, but barely. Uh, resolve mission. So we should be able to do this mission. So, uh, Muton. I'm going to assign two of my interceptors and just kill this Muton. It's just dead. 
It's just dead. I I can kill it. So it's dead. It's in my it's in my supply now. Done. It's done. <laughs> All right. And now I can I assign an assault. No, nope, can't assign an assault to that. Um, let's save the assault for later. Let's put a sniper and a heavy on this one. So I, I'm rolling only two dice. But I'm, I have not increased threat by at, at all during this round. So I'm at threat level one, trying to accomplish this. So, zero successes, but I rolled a three. I'm at threat level two. I got my success, and I'm safe. Okay, so we did succeed at this middle task, so I'm going to put a success there. And now I'm going to just try to roll for the last one. And this one lets us uh, get two dice, three dice, because it's uh, this card is um, it has a yellow border, and I'm attaching the correct unit to the yellow border one. And also this is a special unit that has the leadership bonus on it, so it's an elite. So uh, threat level three, but I'm rolling three dice for one success. Theoretically, this should be fine. Okay, well, that unit dies, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but it did succeed, so we did finish the mission successfully. Wow, man, this is... This game is punishing. All right, so... I am going to reduce panic in Africa. No. No, I'm not. Because the other option is place three money on the emergency funding card. I'm going to just do that. Um, because reduce it... Like, Africa still is in the yellow... And I don't think I'm going to have enough to actually get me enough money from the all-in card over here to make it worth three money. So I think we're pretty safe to just get the three money from that and call it good. Cool. All right, we resolved the mission somehow. And it looks like Asia is in the red now. So that's a bummer, but let's move on to the next round. It was completed, yes. Yes. All right. Uh, refresh units and cards. So we get all of our units back. Uh, this guy comes back over here. The assault comes here. All of our dudes are here. Ah, dang it. Uh, these interceptors come back. That's good. Okay. Um, hmm. Anything else? Yes. The satellite's here. Go back up top. Those satellites are not usable this turn. Okay, we're all good, we're all good. Right, return units to reserves. I already did that. Uh, there are zero UFOs in orbit because we had a hero round that round. That was good. And beginning round four. New technology available. So we get five cards because we already had one. Okay. And we're done. 14 credits. So we get four... 14 credits, done. Crisis. What are we gonna do? We've got enable the satellite up, uh, exhaust the satellite uplink, and satellite uplink lets us uh, reroll the alien die. No, let's destroy, we can destroy one interceptor, that's, that's fine. Okay, UFOs detected in Europe and in Australia. Europe and Australia, okay. Enemy in the base, where are we showing up? North America and an enemy in the base, and please don't show me a thin man. Okay, chrysalid. That's not the worst. Final mission available. Ooh, 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 ooh. Final mission. Nice. Okay, so we have to draw two of two enemies here. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, and assign research three. Um, Let's do that one and assign two of these guys to it. Sure. Okay. Done. Okay. UFOs detected in North America and South America. North America, South America. Done. Another crisis. Okay. We draw two cards. Shuffle the de crisis deck and resolve a new one or resolve the critical damage effect on the invasion plan, uh, which means destroy two. So we're going to just... We're going to do that one because we can't afford to uh, kill two more units. Okay. UFOs detected. We need another one in Africa. Okay. Crisis. 
Increase panic in Africa by one, or remove one researcher from each reserve task to its reserve. Uh, panic in Africa, because we're almost we're almost winning the game, so we can safely do that. Um, mm. ah, shoot! Enemy in the base. Uh, new enemy. Please, not a thin man. Okay, new town elite. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, deploy squad to missions. Okay. Uh, oh, we can do this and this. Um, so we got to save that one. Uh, sniper definitely goes here. Um, we need a support on this one. Uh, we need another sniper over... Oh, we don't need to... Oh, emergency funding, we're just going to grab it over here. From here, so we have that money. Um, I'm just going to pretend that I did this. Oh my god. Just need to pile it on that one. No, not that one. Sure, why not? We're just going to do that. Okay, Crisis. Draw two cards. Uh, elite soldiers do not roll one additional, or players cannot roll more than three times against each task. <sighs> elite soldiers do not roll an additional die. That was a really bad draw. Assign researcher number one. I definitely need that, so I'm going to assign two. We definitely need to do that one. Deploy satellites. Um, let's go all in for the final thing here. Oh boy. Uh, assign research two. I'll just do that. We'll throw one on there, sure. Why not? Just one. Uh, deploy interceptors. I mean, we got it. Got to do it. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. Um, they're going to show up in orbit. Deploy interceptors. Um, Got to kill the ones in Asia, but everything else can just do it. Another crisis. Oh, man. The game is killing me here. All right. Um, increase panic in Asia. Sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ah! UFOs detected in orbit. Ah! Ah! Okay. Defend the base. Okay, I kind of did that already. Um, my god. <laughs> All right. Ending time phase. All right. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, um, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so time phase, I can still do some stuff. I can move things around. I don't really think any of these are useful. No. Nope, none of them are useful. We're done. Let's see how we resolve. Audit the budget. Here we go. Satellites. I didn't do any. Uh, soldiers. I did five. Scientists, I did five. Okay. Interceptors, I did two. And then that's it. So now I get I have six money with which to buy things, and I'm just gonna buy all my dudes back. So I mean, honestly, if if we survive this, yay, but I'm I'm not expecting to survive this. Playing all the units at once is kind of ridiculous. Um, just because of how, how this game can go. It's, there's so much to pay attention to, but like, it's super fun. I really like this game. It is incredibly fun to play. It's just incredibly difficult to play solo. So, um, let's see if we can win the game right here. Resolve crises. Crises. Increase an panic in Asia. Okay. Elite soldiers do not... Uh, so elite soldiers don't add. I'm just going to put this here. This guy does not add anything. Increase panic in Africa. Okay. Shuffle the crisis deck and resolve the top crisis. So we shuffle. We take this whole thing, whole deck, and we reshuffle. So this is what triggers a reshuffle of this deck. Okay, and then we have to draw a new one, and it is destroy two interceptors. 
Okay, well, we just destroyed two interceptors. That's not horrible, I guess. It's not great. It's not, not, not good, though, because we have to destroy another one. Wow, we just got taken out almost completely. Wow. Okay, resolve research. Xenobiology. We really need to hit this. We really need to succeed at this one. So let's add one salvage to this. Um, so we get to roll three dice at threat level one. And we succeeded. Nice. Okay. So uh, this lets us do this. Oh, well. It would have been nice to have earlier. But this would this would let us, during the time phase, which is not now, uh, would have let us uh, get a new card right away. But with our, you can basically buy a card with our salvage. But if we survive this round, but don't fi uh, complete the final mission, like we'll be fine. Uh, this one, we roll one die. One die, and uh, we need to get two successes. So threat level one, no success. Threat level two. Hey, we got a success. I swear if this one scientist just does it, it'd be amazing. Oh my god, it did it. <laughs> so this scientist dies, but um, we, we finished the blaster launcher. <laughs> the blaster launcher lets us place one success on an enemy that has an, a heavy assigned to it, which is going to be super helpful, uh, especially for the final mission. Because we have super heavy things there, but now we can just get a, an easy success. All right, light plasma rifle. We get. I'm gonna use one of our salvage again. Not that salvage. Uh, one thing that I sh I'm going to do is I I killed thin men that have the ability that make it so that we have to draw a new one. So I'm gonna keep them in my salvage pile because I don't want them to come back. So I'm just gonna put a thin men back. <laughs> so that's that's one way to think about what the chief scientist needs to do. All right. So the blaster, uh, the light plasma rifle. I get to roll three. Th three dice and at threat level one I need to get two successes that's one success and I rolled a seven so threat level two we get to roll again threat level three still no successes uh, so these scientists are exhausted but uh, we are now fine we got we got the light plasma rifle so the light plasma rifle, we can exhaust it to place an enemy that uh, a, a success on an enemy that a support was uh, put on. So now we have the plasma, the bl the uh, blaster launcher. Not here. These three these three cards right here. All three of these give us a free success on an enemy, depending on what was assigned to it. So we're going to be able to actually. I think we should actually succeed at this mission. So this is good. Whew! Yikes. Oh my gosh, we absolutely, absolutely must defend the base. We have to defend the base, otherwise we lose. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff ready for us, but let's see what else we can do here. Okay, resolve orbital defense. We did not do anything there, so we have to increase the panic of one of the things down here. So we're going to increase the panic in South America by one. That should be fine. Okay, uh, resolve global defense. Okay, so now we need to just fight in Asia. Okay. Threat level one, two v two. Uh, no successes, but we can. Uh, we rolled a five, so we're fine. Threat level two. We rolled one success, so one is down. That's good. Threat level three. Both of the interceptors die, but we get one success and it kills the UFO. So that's that's pretty good. Okay, and then we need to increase our panic in all the other things except Asia. <laughs> So all of these move up. Oh my gosh, that's bad. <laughs> so again, you, hopefully you're getting the idea that this game is not easy. It is not easy at all. Uh, it's painfully difficult. All right. So we did global defense. Squad leader. So we're now going to resolve base defense. So the base defense um, is right here. We need to kill both of these things. Uh, so we're gonna. I'm going to try to go for the Muton Elite first. Uh, that one is just, I think, better. Um, and we absolutely need to kill everything here. If we do not kill both of these things, we lose the game immediately. So we need to do this. We need to succeed. So I will... Um, assign the sniper... Nope. The heavy. Nope. Support. Support. There we go. I need the support. Here's the support. Um, 
on here. And I'm also going to place the sniper on here as well. The sniper can go on this ability. And I'm going to just assign two hits to it right now. Immediately. Okay. And then I'm going to spend one interceptor from my card onto the plasma cannon. And I get to assign one more hit to, to this guy. So he's automatically dead and we haven't rolled a single thing. So that's the power of technology. So this guy is dead and we get him as a uh, salvage. Okay. There we go. Whoo. Okay. And now we need to kill this other thing. We've got a chrysalid. So now before the first roll against this enemy, increase the threat by one. So it starts at threat number two. That's why I wanted to face him second. All right. So uh, before the first... Okay. So sniper is going to go on here. And uh, the assault is going to go on here. And the support is going to go... Not, not on here. Not on here yet. I, I want backup because I'm already rolling three dice for this. Uh, and I want to be able to, like... Because <laughs> I have the ability, if I need to, to just assign a hit with the support again. Because I do have UFO navigation. This lets me refresh one tech so I can basically get back that uh, card that I used to uh, assign an automatic hit with the support. So I'm going to do that again if I need to. So rolling three dice... At threat level two, and I need to get two hits. I got two hits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we... Uh, we defended the base! Ah! <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. This is, this is very stressful. This is so very stressful. Can't believe we did it. We can't, we can't believe we did it. We did it. Okay. Wow. It was not destroyed, but barely. Let's try to finish this mission. Holy crap. All right, so uh, first things first is I'm going to assign this heavy to this uh, to this card. And uh, the chrysalid, I need to automatically increase the threat level by one. You know what, I'm also going to assign this sniper because now I'm going to use my UFO navigation card down here, which you can't really see, but that lets me unexhaust the plasma sniper card. And I'm going to exhaust both the blaster launcher and the plasma sniper to assign one hit to an enemy that has a heavy and a sniper associated with it, which I have. So this chrysalid is automatically dead. And you know what? Because I didn't actually roll against this, this says before the first roll against this enemy each round, increase threat by one. So I never actually, I never actually did this. So I, I never actually rolled against this card. So I'm actually at threat level zero. So I avoided that entirely. Ooh, hello. Nice. So that that's just dead. Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to try to fight this Muton Elite. And I do have an, uh, one more Interceptor left on my card, so I can place it on the Plasma Cannon and automatically just assign this guy a hit, which is good. Um, and now I'm going to assign the Support to the Support roll, the Sniper to the uh, Tactical roll, and the Heavy to this roll. So I'm actually rolling... Is this a special? No, it's not special. None of these are special. But I'm going to use an Assault to do Run and Gun, And you know what? I can actually do this. I'm doing this mission and all icons are specialized now. So I am rolling two extra dice now. So I'm actually rolling five dice for every roll. I'm rolling five dice. They only provide four, but because it's very hard for you to actually get uh, all five ready to go. Uh, you, you, can't, you normally can't get more than four. I, I somehow have gotten lucky with this. So. I uh, let's do roll one and we need to get three successes. That was zero success. Oh, there's one success. Okay. And now we need one more and it's at threat level two now. Yikes. Okay, so threat level two. Okay, well it's dead. So I've killed this Muton Elite. 
but I need to. I'm going to re-roll the alien die using the satellite uplink card uh, because otherwise all three of my guys are dead. Okay, phew. Okay, so they're not dead, and they can keep going. All right. So now I, the heavy gets assigned to this. The sniper gets assigned to this, and we roll one extra die. I. So I'm rolling four dice for these, plus the one for run and gun. So I'm actually rolling five dice again. I'm at threat level two. Oh boy. I need three successes to win the game right here. So if I get three successes, I win. That is zero successes. Uh, so we get to roll one more because we're rolling five dice. That is zero successes. Okay. Three. Threat level three. Okay, we got one success. Yay! Threat level four. Wait, hold on. I get to roll one more. No, that wasn't a success. Okay. Threat level four. Here we go. Oh, boy. I got one more success. And threat level five. I Oh, wait, hold on. I get to roll one more die. I forgot. Oh, that was a success. Yes! Okay. That mission is done. It was completed, and we won! Just barely. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was super close. Holy moly. Oh. Well, uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of just how difficult this game really is. Wow. Dang, that, that is, that is brutal. That is brutal. Holy moly. Whew. Anyway, uh, this, this was uh, really fun. Let's uh, come over here again. So uh, this is something that I want to do more of. I'm going to look into more of these uh, specialty things that let us have fun ideas like this. I'm going to work on getting a camera set up so that we can have a, a tabletop, we can actually play tabletop games like this uh, and have a, a close-up camera so that in, in the case that we, we do need to have a close-up camera, we can have it. Um, definitely, if, you're, if you haven't followed or if subscribed, please follow and subscribe. It really supports the channel. Uh, tune in more because we do this often. Uh, generally, I stream around noon on weekdays, but I'm open to other things as well. So. I, one thing that I should note is on Friday, this Friday, December 11th, Deepwater Games is sponsoring a stream for Monstrosity, which is a really fun game. Definitely check it out on the highlight reels from my previous streams. There, It's excellent, excellent. And I'm really looking forward to more of this. Uh, please join us in the future. And until next time, thank you very much for joining. We'll see you soon.